All right. So let's go back to our list here. We want to follow the S3L and S2L pattern using that note as a root note. So we've got our, remember we have our root note. You know, you've got your finger on it, you know, and you're dying to play something. Look at this R. If my finger's on this note here, all right, what am I going to play? I'm going to go R2, R7. R2, R7. R2, R7. Or just starting from... Um, See, the R is, is kind of difficult because it's on the very end. But remember, on top of this pattern here is going to be this pattern. So over here in the barred short pattern stack, we have our 7 root 2. Okay, let's get our drawing tool up. We have our 7 root 2. We have our S3S here right there. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, root 2. We're on the root now. Remember, that's the only note we know. Where are we going to go from there? Well, this S2L right here, this guy right here now. Let, let's get it a little thinner and let it, uh, let's make a color there. Now, this fella right here. You know, and you might say, well, but I knew this. This is redundant. Thank goodness it's redundant because that means you can use it. You know, you can use it. You put these things together. What do I need for this job? Oh, this, that. What tools do I need? Musically. <laughs> Musically, not, not like, you know, coping with life's problems. That also is true. Great Toolbox is a 12-step book. Uh, this is six steps I noticed. <laughs> It's probably half the story, but um, that's all we got for now. So we're going to start on this root. So now we can go up. We can go up root two, three, four, five. So remember, the song goes like. All right. So we're here. had to warp up for the six. You see how we had to warp up for that six? We went to the root. I went to the third. I'm going to start on a lower root. So I'm going to start down here. All right. And this almost brings us to the next step. So again, that's the chord. Okay, so here we are. So we're going to go root up to the three. Ah, that sounded like the song a little bit. Well, guess what? If we know what note the root is, you have to determine what note that is, either by using your dots, you know, or by using relationships from strings. So you remember, your strings are are like E, A, D, G, B, E, right? So if you're here, that means you're a minor third above the A, so you're at C. That's where C would be. But you just want to know where you are. You've already found the note. You have the magic note. You don't even have to know particularly what note it is. As long as you can start playing the pattern.
Okay, so we've satisfied, we've kind of, um, we've kind of felt out the, the pattern, right? And if you, you want to do it according to the song and you match, you know, those notes with the, with the song. So I'm not just playing anything, I'm trying to go along with that little song. Well, guess what now, there's another step now, okay? So we got all this, how you build the pattern, should you just start shaping out these patterns and you have to hit the tuning warp when you get to string five right there string five or string two whatever you want to call it it's the same string the second highest string there's a tuning warp there the whole strings warped over okay the patterns go over to the left but the tuning warp brings the top two strings back over into play it's not a negative thing it's a positive thing because in the key of C it brings the 7 and the 3 into play so you can play the pattern and go right up there but that's only in that cage so next what do we do we have follow the S3L S2L pattern using that note as the root note playing that pattern throughout the tuning warp as usual as we were just talking about identify the action numbers in the pattern as new roots on the scale modal chords find the root okay so in other words I'm counting to myself here and I'm going root 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 seven six 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 five four four okay here I am on four now let's say, what do we do with four? We're, we're identifying the fourth. So we have the root here, and we know this is the fourth. If we know the root is C, then the fourth is F. Okay, now I can jump ahead, but I'd rather not. So I've got my finger on the fourth here. It says, modal chords, find the root. This is the new root. So if, if we call this the fourth, we can call it a temporary root of the fourth. If it is a temporary root of the fourth, which is the F, right? The question is, all right, the fourth and the fifth, you find the fourth and the fifth as you meander around the pattern, saying the numbers, like I was saying the word four, as you play them. Example, stop on number four, count from the root in your head in your head, all right, that is the fourth note. Okay, so, you know, in other words, uh, what is that the fourth note of? You know, um, so if you, if you know the root is C, you know the fourth is F, okay? But that's in the pattern, so it's two, three, four, five, six. Here's the fifth, you know the fifth from the pattern, from the pattern right here. So we just know what R is and where it is. Then in the pattern, we can go down two strings and go two, three, four, five, six. Well, here's the fifth. Now we want to build a chord on that fifth. That fifth has a new, like, uh, a new root, okay? It would be, um, okay, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay, wait, I made a little, mis little mistake there. So from the root, we go down two strings, two, three, four, five. Here's your fifth, okay? We're going to build a new chord on that fifth. You know, if we wanted to play the fifth, it would, it would, and the question is, what is that, what cage shape would we use? Now we know this is G, and it's the, it's the relative root of G. What cage shape has its root? Its root, its R. What cage shape has its R on the third string? Find an R on the third string. There it is. Well, guess what we're looking at? A five, a root, and a three. That's an E shape. So that's what I would play at that point. It's really out of tune. So that's that would be it. That it is the E shape. I know it. It's just it's badly out of tune with the capo. So we'll continue on this in in a minute. 